There we go. We are Ben and Brandy. Over the last few weeks, you've seen us begin a project to convert an E450 box truck into the ultimate off-grade camping rig. Today, we'll take the next steps as we work on plumbing and lighting in our box truck build. We've got a couple of check valves here. We're doing something a little different than I've seen done before. Uh, for instance, in our motorhome, when you want to run off of city water, instead of your water tanks, you have a ball valve. And on that ball valve, you turn one off and one on, and that closes your fresh water tanks and opens up your water, city water hookups. But I'm trying to make everything pretty much automated. So what I've bought is a couple of check valves, and I'm gonna put these check valves in line um, so that way water flow can only come in from your water inlet on the city water and it can only come out of here so you can't fill that up and what that'll cause is it'll make sure when I don't have city water hooked up and I turn my water pump on it won't pump water out of my inlet for my city water and vice versa when I'm hooked up to city water it won't just keep filling up my fresh water tanks until it explodes so that's what I've done here with a couple of check valves and the smallest check valves they had are these three quarter inch brass ones. So I went from three quarters to a half inch packs and I'll tie it into my water lines. Okay, so we're doing the packs uh, on the bathtub. So we've got our main packs that comes in. This is our city water line. And the one thing that's, another good thing that's nice about packs, actually there's a lot of things that are nice about packs. But one of the main things is you can take these bins in it pretty easily and uh, if it's stiff and you don't want it to be too hard on your connections then you can just put some bracing on it but it saves you from having to use a lot of pex fittings and elbows and bins and 45s and things like that so you can pretty well get it where you need there it goes and i got this vacuum hose to run diesel heat exhaust or, or not exhaust ventilation and then also since i'm running in the same trough as these pex lines it will help keep them warm you want to pull that through caleb we're under here and we're doing our gray water tank the fresh water tank is up in the front or in, in inside i mean and we're back here where the gray is now and we're just going to put some straps on it and run our drain line into it should be no big deal and i'm using this band strap here looks like this and it'll simply screw up there we'll go around it there's one down when water comes out of one it literally drops right into the other. So what we're doing now, we've got one freshwater line that runs underneath the motor home. So we're just wrapping this in some heat tape and then we're gonna put some foam on it. That's gonna go on there like that. That'll hook on. Just like that. Okay, hold on. can't get into every thing I've been doing. You gotta fight around it like this. I am so sick of it, man. Hold tight. The 
cinch it down. Yeah, baby. That's good. Looks good. Looks good. Feels good. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, so I wanted to share real quickly with you um, what I'm doing on this 12 volt low voltage. Uh, these are kind of like a recessed light. You cut a small hole and they fit up into the ceiling. Um, you can see that. And I'm just cutting them, recessing them, and then I'm running the wall right down surface mount on the outside. And then we're gonna have wood, this wood here, that's gonna go all across the top like slat board and it'll cover the wires up. So I'm making some headway here. Um, as you can see, all my lights are just kind of hanging. They are recessed in. I put that tape on there just to keep from pulling them out. And what I'm gonna do is just lay these lights up in there like that. And then the light board will go right over the light wires and you won't even see them. But I'm fishing six conductor wires. So I've got a ground and five possible different power light switches for each of these. So, should be in good shape. Honestly, if you get that stain and you go into those cracks, it might stain the wood too behind it. Stain the ceiling, you mean? Yeah. And then we'll make blue the bedroom. Okay, so that's your neck. Green is kitchen. So that means this will tie in here. So now we'll splice into these over here. When you pull these strings, it pulls it all the way down and shreds your wire back, and then you can take your rubber off easy. Green. Nice. That's gonna be plenty of light. Okay, so what we have here is a heat strip, uh, heat pad, whatever you wanna call it. You can buy these on Amazon. We'll include the link in the description below. We're gonna put this under our freshwater tank and we also have heat tape around all of our lines and this will hopefully keep our lines from freezing and they all are on their own um, switch to G, uh, GFCI and then also they automatically know when to kick in when it's freezing. So trying to put it under our tank now.
that's why every problem this is all broke busted up shit maybe the end of that so now what do i get to do get a jigsaw in there and jig out of it Yeah, that works good. Yeah, that's a good saw. Love that saw. Maybe I can. Okay. Yeah. I'm sick of it, man. <laughs> I am so sick of it. Shit breaking. All right, we've got the sink plumbed in. It was real easy. We did it in about 35 minutes. Leave. I'm having to do this shit. I can't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't even have it plumbed in. We just have the sink set. So it was uh, the the design of this. There's two brackets in here that uh, you weld in to each side. It pushes the edges out and. Uh, that's what makes this thing sit in there level and flush. And those two brackets are really flimsy, so they just bent in. So then that caused the middle here to bow up. Um, so what I've done is just put some caulking and silicone underneath of it and uh, ran some self-tapping screws in it. It's not the right way to do it, but I've had enough. Like, I'm just, I'm done with this. Uh, I drilled my faucet in, set it in. I'm gonna go below now, plumb the drain, plumb, plumb the plumbing for both of them, for the, for the water lines. Uh, probably try to plumb all that in and then probably call it a day. Okay, so we're down here below and uh, you can see, I mean, we are tightly fit in here. You got the generator and the sink literally plumbs in right above the generator. But we're gonna try to make this one compartment work for everything, so. Now we're wiring in the faucet, plumbing in the faucet. So I'm getting down to the last little bit of flooring here, and I can't believe it, but I'm gonna have exactly enough flooring. 30 inches from the ceiling, 30 inches from the ceiling. A little thin shit, just ain't cutting it. Look, 